Golf is probably the hardest game to play in the world, especially when you lose some of the abilities needed to make that game a little bit easier. But in this bag, I have a set of irons that claim to be the most forgiving game improvement iron that will make the game easier. And today, we're gonna find out about that. And the irons in question that are claiming to be the most forgiving game improvement irons are these from 11 Golf. They've teamed up with KBS Golf to make the hybrid iron golf set. Well, what are these 11 golf clubs? They're a full set of hybrids, and that sort of makes sense. Let me explain. So if we think back to some of the irons that were used to play golf, they were actually reminiscent of maybe a butter knife or a razor. Because the top line was so thin and the leading edge was so sharp, it actually made hitting these iron clubs very, very hard. We saw this in the likes of one irons, two irons, three irons, and it carried on down through the set. But if we fast forward to maybe the early 2000s, what we saw was something different. We saw the introduction of the hybrid golf club, which made golf, especially in the long irons, a little bit easier. And this is where 11 Golf comes in with their full set of hybrid iron golf clubs. And later on in the video, I'm gonna test it against another game improvement iron to see how they get on. But the idea is simple. They have followed on from the introduction of hybrids replacing the long irons and just carried it on throughout the set. Now, the hybrid iron, if we don't know, is something that's in between a wood and in between an iron. So when we see the actual profile of the golf club, it doesn't quite look like a driver or a three wood, but it doesn't quite look like an iron. It's got a larger sole, it's got a shallower face, and it's got a little bit more meat behind it. And the reason for that is because it's trying to make the game easier. The shallow face will help the ball get up in the air a little bit more, and the way that the head is designed will actually make it easier to put weight around the perimeter of the golf club to then make any off-centered strikes a little bit easier, supposedly. And today I'm gonna to hit some shots throughout the bag and just get an idea about what these 11 golf clubs are all about and whether you, if you are someone who is maybe struggling with your irons, could these be the answer for you? Hmm. But the first thing about the 11 hybrid set that stands out to me is actually having so many head covers in your golf bag. Each one comes with a little head cover here that, you know, I understand you want to protect it because as you actually get it out and put it down, it is a nice looking club. It looks very much like a traditional hybrid. Quite a big footprint, a shallow face, nice white etching on the, uh, the face to sort of showcase where the toe, the heel is in the center. What I will say though, because it is a hybrid iron set, the lofts aren't crazy. So what we see from some game improvement sets um, now in the future is that the lofts are really strong but because of the mass of the head the size of it we're not seeing that because if you did do that they would probably go a ridiculous distance and one other thing that i've sort of noticed when i first got these out to try here is the length of the shaft it feels a little bit shorter than what my five iron or what my seven iron would do and again i think that comes back to the game improvement aspect if you've got a slightly shorter shaft it's actually easier to find the middle of the golf club it just feels a little bit odd and also staring down on maybe the pitching wedge of the nine iron and the eight iron all feels a little bit odd but i think you know if you were to get these clubs and you're looking for that help it's probably something that you're willing to forgo just the looks and the feel and stick with them just to get that extra input out of the uh, your, your golf shot got the um the kbs tgi the tall graphite iron in as well this is the 80 gram one all blacked out which looks looks pretty cool and overall they look a pretty sleek golf club but do they actually provide that forgiveness interestingly a very fat shot there and it still managed to creep all the way up to the front of the green with 200 yards out on a coldish day and that was the five hybrid or iron and it's got there so there definitely is that element of forgiveness in there it feels so strange with such a, a short shaft they pop up nicely in the air that's i mean that's a terrible golf shot it's up though it's gone out there and it's what you want from someone who would be using these golf clubs you want launch when i think back to lessons who you know struggle with irons the things we want are distance we want launch and we want strike you know all in that package of forgiveness and two pretty dire golf shots there and they're up near the green which maybe with those irons that we referred to earlier 
would probably be about 20 feet in front of me. Let's just hit a couple more with the longer ones and see how we get on. Oh, that's a great example of forgiveness. A little bottomy and it's up there, down the fairway, a little cutty, but done what we want on the tin. It's got the ball airborne and it's got that forgiveness. And that's where these clubs are aimed at. They're just pure forgiveness, I would say. They're not trying to be a distance golf club. They're not trying to be probably the best looking golf club. All they're trying to do is provide you with something that if you struggle getting that distance, if you struggle getting that launch, if you actually struggle just, you know, with solid contact all the time, you're going to get away with quite a lot with this golf club, it feels. That was a great shot. Felt good, sounded good, launched good. That is a nice golf shot. I've used a hybrid club around the greens before, but that's my three hybrid, and that's when I want to get that sort of low running shot when it's maybe not in a great lie. The pitching wedge is one of the clubs that I would chip a lot with to get a little bit of flight and a little bit of run, but how will that perform when we are in and around the greens? We're going to hit some shots from close range, and then we're going to move back to maybe about 80, 90 yards to see how that performs as well. But let's give it a go. Let's see what it is like. Gosh, that feels so short. And it looks so lofted when it is behind the ball, but how will it perform? Theoretically, I think it should do pretty well. I would imagine it's very confidence inspiring for a lot of people, that sort of look behind the ball. Well, that was fat and it's done not bad. I did actually think I didn't need to hit it as much because of the hedge size, but still got 43 degrees of loft. It's still going to go up in the air. It's still going to hit it, man. gone in nearly gone in interesting that very interesting i think the little chips it's not too bad with i would say very forgiving they tend to come out i feel a little bit flatter they don't pop up as much they sort of come off it feels almost a little bit quicker and a little bit flatter the half shots they are interesting they do what i would expect a pitching wedge to do because of the loft but it's just when you're looking down on a hybrid and you're making half a swing there trying to pitch with it it's a strange thing but i think after a few rounds of golf maybe a bit of time spent down at the driving range you get used to that because it's just not the norm but like i say time spent and you should be able to solve that problem it feels good and we're getting the flight and even there a couple of the shots they tended to stop pretty quickly so i think from the short element i think this will probably be the the biggest adjustment they're actually they're actually ticking the box there they're doing what we've got to do and like i said earlier i think they're not made for me what we've got to think here is forgiveness it's all you want from these forgiveness the clubs to help so one thing we have to take into consideration is cost how much are the 11 hybrid iron set going to cost you well there's different models and you can actually set the setup how you want to you can have it from three to pitching wedge and then they do it from six to pitching wedge with four and five filling in those gaps as well all coming at different price points 680 from three to pitching wedge now if we think of maybe a three to pitching wedge set that we don't really see anymore everything generally starts at four to pitching wedge we would see that they'd be well into the thousands because even hybrid singularly are costing well over a couple of hundred pounds from the big manufacturers as where well. these actually only cost 89 pounds now we're going to compare these in a moment with the mizuno jpx 923 hl model which are a game improvement iron designed for the game improvement player Interestingly, their set from five to pitching wedge comes in at seven hundred and sixty-five pounds. It's a hundred and what is it, eighty pounds more, and I'm getting two clubs less. Pretty good bargain. Pretty good bargain. But that being said, will they actually stack up when it comes to the numbers? Because it's great if you're saving a bit of money, but if you lack performance, it might be worth actually buying the ones that actually perform a little bit better. So let's give them a try. Let's see how they stack up against 
one of the other big boys. So we're gonna try them against the JPX 923HLs. Now, just a specification guide, the loft on this one is 28.5. I'm gonna hit the six iron and the seven iron in the 11 hybrid iron set because the six iron is 27 degrees and the seven iron is 31 degrees. But because of the hybrid nature of the club head, the way it's built, will that mean that the, uh, the 31 degree goes just as far as something that is 28.5, a traditional iron style? We will find out. We're gonna hit five shots with each and just get a little bit of an idea of how they stack up. Well, that pops up. Well, that's gone higher. I tell you what's great, they just get up in the air. So how did these 11 stack up against another game improvement iron? Very well, I would say. The JPX Mizuno 923 HL, 28 and a half degrees loft average carry was 161 yards. Did everything it says on the tin, pops it up good distance. Now the seven iron from the 11s, that went 185 yards carry. That's 24 yards longer. Flew a little bit higher. Its peak height was 34 feet, as where the Mizuno's was 32. But it just felt easy. It popped up in the air every single time. It wasn't that I was actually swinging it any faster. Both my club head speeds were in around 87 miles an hour with both of them. And again, when we move into the six iron, we wanted to test that as well. Similar story, 201 yards carry for a 32 feet average height at a peak height as well. So they're getting the distance, they're popping up, they're giving you that forgiveness. And then even around the greens, they're easy, they're simple, they do what they say on the tin. I think the only thing that you would have to overcome is the look of the clubs as you start off. Because it is a hybrid club, it just looks different to what you may have used before. But overall, good price, easy to use game improvements they do what they say on the tin if you're struggling i would definitely give these a little look at guys hope you've enjoyed it why not check out one of our other videos as well on some game improvement irons here we'll see you in another video very soon